Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Isaac. And today I'm going to be building an insertion sort algorithm, which will take an array of numbers and sort them in numerical order for us. Let's get started. First, let's create the array. We'll keep it simple and we'll put one, three, and two purposely out of order to test our algorithm. Next, let's create the function and we'll call it insertion sort. Then, We'll pass in the array. Next, we need to declare the variables which we're going to use throughout the algorithm. We'll start by declaring i, j, and k, and we'll use these uh, as iterations uh, to compare each loop. Uh, then we'll declare one called val, and we're going to use that one to uh, store the value uh, of an iteration. Um, and then we'll declare uh, one called lim, and that will stand for limit, and we'll make it equal to the array's length. Okay, so now we got our uh, variables declare, de declared. Let's go ahead and uh, start a for loop. And we'll start by saying i is going to be equal to one, and uh, we will run this loop as long as i is greater than uh, lim. And if that's the case, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna increase i by one each time. Okay, so uh, I find with algorithms really important uh, to uh, map everything out. Uh, so right now, we know that uh, lim is equal to three um, and uh, i is equal to one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in some notes here uh, to help us keep track. Um, so the first iteration is going to run through, I will be equal to 1. Uh, on the second iteration, it will be equal to 2. Um, as, and as you can see, it won't run a third time because that would make this statement uh, no longer true. So it's only going to run through twice. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and let's move on to the next uh, part of the algorithm. Uh, we're going to take a val, and we're going to make it equal to the array uh, at the index of j. Uh, and j is actually going to be equal to i. And uh, from here, we'll uh, bring in k, and uh, we'll make k equal to j minus 1. Okay? So again, let's go ahead and uh, map this out, what this is going to look like. Um, so uh, we know that uh, j is going to be equal to whatever i is going to be equal to, because it says right here. So um, uh, we'll go ahead. Uh, we've got j equal to uh, 1 on the first loop and two on the second loop, and then k is going to be equal to j minus one. So as you can see, uh, one right here, zero right here, two right here, and one right here. So uh, yeah, everything is uh, still concrete, still flowing. So uh, next thing we need to do is uh, create a while loop. So uh, what this loop is gonna say is we're gonna say uh, while j and uh, the array at the index of k is greater than uh, the val, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, run a uh, the insertion sort. Uh, so right here, you know, a, a good thing to take note of is uh, val um, is currently uh, equal to three on the first loop and two on the second loop. Um, so as you can see, this statement right now, if we're running through the first time, uh, j is equal to one, and the array at the index of k. Um, is equal to uh, three. So it's saying one and three are greater than val, and uh, val is equal to three. So because this statement is not true, uh, the while loop will immediately stop, um, and it will return uh, and start this for loop on its second iteration, where i is equal to two, um, and it will continue going. So at this point, uh, the first loop it goes through is gonna hit this, and render a false statement, so it's gonna move along to the second iteration. Um, so like we said, i is equal to two on this iteration, uh, j is equal to two on this iteration, uh, k will now be equal to one, and uh, val will now be equal to two. Okay, so we're gonna use all of that um, to say uh, now that uh, j, which is two, and the array at the index of k, which is three, is greater than val, which is two. So this is a true statement now. Um, we can then uh, conduct the rest of the algorithm uh, to swap out uh, the appropriate values and place them in their proper 
index position. Okay, so uh, here's how we're going to do that. We're going to take uh, the array at the index of j, um, decremented by 1, and it's going to equal uh, the array at the index of k, uh, decremented by 1 as well. Um, so at this point, when uh, this runs, our uh, array is going to now say uh, 1, 3, and 3. So now we have a pair of duplicates here at the end. So we need to change that. So uh, all we have to do is say the array at the index of uh, j is now going to be equal to uh, val, which as we can see down here, val on the second loop is uh, equal to 2. So uh, at this point, uh, these are both 3. And then when it hits this, uh, this 3 changes into a 2. Um, so at this point, they're all in uh, numerical order. So what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, return the array and uh, then console log the result. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that and go over to our browser. And when we hit refresh, as you can see, it's rendered uh, one, two, three for us uh, due to the fact that our insertion sort algorithm has rearranged them in the proper order. So let's go ahead and test this out with uh, some more values in there, um, kind of see it in action full force, and uh, we'll see what we get. Okay, so go ahead and save that, go back to our browser. Uh, and as you can see, uh, very consistent, it sorted them again in numerical order for us using the insertion sort algorithm. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video today. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.